Assalamualaikum my name is Sonali I welcome you back to another episode of Around the World in 7 days When handmade things began to be made by machines it was termed the industrial revolution but this revolution was still incomplete it needed energy to be called a complete revolution without energy it was moving like a crawling turtle but the discovery of a substance in the form of thick mud present inside the earth added wings to this revolution this thick mud was named crude oil the precious substance has raised the expectations of the world very high today the situation is such that in almost all the things that modernize the world this substance has contributed in some form or the other the major products derived from this are diesel and petrol these products have made our lives very comfortable but this crude oil also has a dark truth it has made the lives of many people miserable the residents of the area where the crude oil is extracted are being negatively affected by it due to this the people of the area come under the grip of diseases in fact during the process of oil extraction some pollutants like benzene are also released which cause cancer and respiratory diseases the biggest problem in this is the process of gas flaring used by the oil companies now the question that might be coming to your mind is that what is this gas flaring what does this have to do with crude oil why is gas flaring a problem after all apart from this there will also be a question that which are the areas where the residents are most affected by gas flaring so let's address all these questions one by one gas flaring is the term used for burning of gas that comes out of the ground while drilling for oil this is a common process during oil extraction but the carbon dioxide gas is generated during gas flaring which is also one of the major greenhouse gases this is adversely affecting the climate of oil refining areas also if the gas coming out of the wells does not burn completely it leads to the release of methane gas it is the second largest greenhouse gas it is 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide apart from this hydrocarbon substances like benzene and naphthalene also come out despite this all producing companies around the world resort to gas flaring the flames rising above the oil wells present in russia america and gulf countries are the result of this flaring according to world bank estimates there are around 10000 such flames burning globally at any given time according to the world bank this is such a huge amount that in the year 2021 the entire sub saharan africa could have got electricity from the amount of gas burned in this way now you will ask that if it can generate so much electricity then why do oil companies burn this gas so the answer is that sometimes it becomes necessary to burn it for safety reasons basically crude oil collects under the ground in the form of sludge and gas accumulates around it this gas has to be removed before drilling into the ground for oil In such a situation if there is a sudden increase in the pressure of the gas on coming to the surface it can cause a fierce explosion therefore this gas is burned as a way of reducing the pressure this process is known as safety flaring or non regular flaring however gas flaring is also often done by energy or oil companies as a way to save money sometimes extracting these gases is not cost efficient owing to their small quantity and various other expenses therefore to get rid of it oil companies burn the gas this is known as routine flaring according to the world bank's global gas flaring tracker report russia iraq iran the us and algeria were responsible for more than half of the gas flaring globally in the year 2021 therefore people in the oil well areas in these countries are most affected by the gas flaring Out of this, if we talk about Iraq, its southern part is more affected due to gas flaring. Although there is no much publicly available data on pollution related diseases in areas near oil wells, but a confidential Iraqi health ministry report obtained by the BBC blames pollution from the gas leak among other factors for cancer in people in the area. 
in Basra, southern Iraq, cancer cases increased by nearly 20% between 2015 and 2018. Another leaked document from Basra's local government shows that cancer cases in the area are three times higher than the figures published in the official nationwide cancer registry. Gas flaring spreads a chemical called benzene in the air, which causes problems like headaches and irregular heartbeat to the people living nearby. This can also cause cancer. Whereas napathalene damages the eyes and liver and is another possible cause of cancer. Also, black carbon produced by gas flaring poses a risk of breathing difficulties, respiratory diseases, heart diseases and strokes, etc. Apart from all this, a US study suggests that gas flaring can cause premature births among women. Therefore, human rights activists allege that international oil companies have poisoned the skies. In such a situation, the World Bank has urged the oil companies to store the gas and then sell it to commercial companies and consumers. However, it requires safe processing to make it usable as it contains extremely harmful chemicals. That's why it is so expensive. This is a major reason why most companies prefer to burn it. As a remedy, the World Bank says that such companies can use this gas in mobile power generating stations to power their oil drilling sites or as fuel in petrochemical plants. Another option is that companies can re-inject gas into the ground to increase pressure in oil wells, allowing them to extract more oil, which will be a profitable deal for both the regional people and the company. So that's all for today. See you in the next episode. But before that, let's note down a question based on today's story. Crude oil is lighting the world, but at the same time, it may also become a main reason for a dark future. Discuss.